Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the close and interesting relationship between two of the world's largest economies, Germany and China. I will start talking about a small city called Taizan. It was known as the Emperor's Granary because it once stored nearly 1 million tons of grain during the Ming Dynasty. Therefore, Taizan was also an important city in ancient times. Nowadays, Taizan is also known as a German industry town because more than 400 German companies have settled here, with over 3,000 German nationals living in the city. These German companies have a combined industrial output value of over 50 billion Chinese yuan, and Taizan has been awarded the title of China's first and only China-Germany Enterprise Cooperation Base. There are also 50 companies in the city that have entered the world's top 500 hidden champions, such as the bearing giant Schaeffler Group and global electrical connection company Phoenix Contact, among many others. And if you're wondering why these German companies have chosen Taizan, well, firstly, Taizan is very close to Shanghai with a straight line distance of only 44 kilometers from People's Square in Shanghai. This allows companies to enjoy the talent, capital, logistics and information radiation of Shanghai, while keeping their cost lowers such as cheaper land. Secondly, Taizan has a 38.8 kilometers long port shoreline that reaches the Yangtze River and has easy access to the sea. And third, the Taizan government provides high-quality services that are essential to the development of the German enterprises. These are some of the reasons why so many German companies have chosen Taizan. In terms of living, this place has also brought German style into the city, with restaurants everywhere and even creating a German-style town called Rottenburg. The buildings and streets here adopt traditional German architectural styles, with various greeneries and decorations, creating a strong European atmosphere. There are many cultural activities and exhibitions here with German characteristics, such as the beer festival, German celebrations and craft exhibitions, providing visitors with more opportunities for cultural exchange and experiences. We are coming to this kind of a replica of a small German town called Rottenburg Waterfront in Taizang. I love about these kind of small cities or small places where you can uh, enjoy so much diversity, how they can embrace different kind of culture, in this case uh, the German culture, where you can see buildings, you can see actually a lot of German nationals staying here, coming to the different restaurants to enjoy the food. This is definitely a very cool vibe what we're enjoying here and I love to come to these kind of places. Again, I love how international China is becoming nowadays, where people from different kind of countries can just come here and enjoy and find restaurants with their own food. So I think that is really cool. The historical relationship between Germany and China can be traced back to the late 19th century, and the two countries have become increasingly close in areas such as politics, economy and culture. Especially in the 21st century, German-Chinese relations have entered a new stage. German has become one of China's largest trading partners in Europe, and China has become one of Germany's largest trading partners ever. German products are highly popular in the Chinese market, such as the car manufacturer BMW, one of Germany's famous car manufacturers. It entered in the Chinese market in 2004 and sells various types of vehicles, including luxury cars, sports cars, SUVs, and electric cars. And it also provides related after-sales services and parts supply. BMW sales in the Chinese market have always been very good. 
According to the statistics, in 2021, BMW sales in the Chinese market increased by 8.3%, reaching 4 billion euros, making China one of BMW's most important sales market in the world. China and Germany have also common developments in areas such as economy, technology and culture. For example, BMW's production base established in China provides high-quality German cars to the Chinese market and promotes deep cooperation in the automotive industry between China and Germany. In March 2022, China and Germany cooperated to invest and build a new energy vehicle factory in China aiming to accelerate the development of China's new energy vehicle market. The factory was jointly invested by German Audi and China's first automobile group. With a planned annual capacity of 100,000 vehicles, and it is expected to become an important member of China's new energy vehicle market. The cooperation between the two countries in areas such as the finance, trade, energy and environmental protection has also contributed to the common prosperity of the two countries' economies. In the field of technology, the cooperation between China and Germany is very close. German solar technology, wind energy technology, energy saving and other kind of technologies have been widely used in the Chinese market. The cooperation between the two sides in the field of artificial intelligence, intelligent manufacturing and other fields have provided more powerful support for the two countries' cooperation in future high-tech fields. In addition, the two sides have also carried out extensive cooperation in areas such as aerospace, marine technology and biotechnology, jointly promoting the development of technological innovation. In terms of cultural exchange, in August 2021, German Chancellor Merkel visited China and met with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Merkel emphasized that the cooperation between Germany and China is based on equality mutual respect and mutual benefit. In addition to cooperation in the fields of economy and technology, China and Germany are also actively engaged in cultural exchanges. Germany has a long history of cultural exchange with China and as one of the important resources of European culture, it shares many similarities with Chinese culture. In the cultural field, the cooperation between the two countries covers various aspects such as language teaching, cultural festivals and art exhibition. Germany has always been an important destination for Chinese students to study abroad. German universities enjoy a high reputation worldwide, and many Chinese students choose to pursue further studies in Germany. At the same time, universities in China and Germany also actively carry out cooperation projects to provide students with more opportunities for exchange. For example, the University of Hamburg in Germany and Tsinghua University in China jointly established the German Chinese Institute dedicated to promoting educational exchange between China and Germany. In addition, German cultural festivals, German film festivals and other activities are also held in China, providing more opportunities for cultural exchanges between the people in the two countries. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. 
If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.